compound men open between John Stubbs, the reigning uh, world champion, against Jonathan Milne from Australia. Young guy, new in archery, rather new in archery, but fully involved. Uh, he, since he is in a wheelchair, he started to do archery, and uh, this also not more than two and a half years ago. Uh, I'm not excited. I spoke with him the, earlier this uh, earlier this week. Uh, together with his mom, he's here. His mom coach. came all the way from Australia. Yes. That's great. Oh, she's his coach. Yeah. Even better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Jonathan, a great guy. He's uh, involved in archery because he's working in an archery shop. Uh, so he finds a way back into life after his accident, which is also an important thing. He finds his way, his way back not only through sports, but only uh, as well through uh, his new work in an archery shop. Great guy, Jonathan, and I'm so happy he's in this bronze medal match. Australia Again, sorry, is not no Australia is not a country that we have uh, seen in many many appearances here in the last day and a half. So we're we're excited to see what the uh, country from down under can show us. And here, the favorite of this uh, match, the reigning world champion John Stubbs from Great Britain. The next British archer, Mike Pierce, the head coach, is really, actually, he has the most work to do. He today. inherited quite a crew of talented athletes, though, when he took over. He's, he's fairly new to the position, is he not, Andreas, just in the last year? He started the job? right after the Olympics 2012 to be the Paralympic coach, and he built up, uh, well, Great Britain was always strong, but he was able to keep that level, and you know, we have loads of artists from Great Britain here, so... Sometimes it's harder to keep in a high-level uh, program going than it is to, to build something from the, the beginning. More and more families walking in here. We count more than 250 uh, paying people at the moment. Uh, I got the notice before on my iPhone. Uh, so we got 250 paying people already now. I think it's uh, from me. It's, me. it's it's absolutely wonderful. And John has chosen to start out this match with an axe. Wonderful. That's got to be. He has chosen to start up this match with an axe. <laughs> uh, that's got to be confirming uh, and uh, and uh, confidence builder for sure. Jonathan shooting. An eight. Ooh. Six. That's a six. He, huh, I, I just hear Mike Peart telling to John, it's a six ride, and John, what? He said, yes, it's a six, believe me. <laughs> So John didn't reckon that it was a, a, a notch, a, a shot in the six. He thought it was much better. Let's see what the third shot is. Back to his nine. X nine six twenty five. So John could clinch the first uh, end with the nine with the twenty six. 9 or 10 to be in front, with an 8 he would tie. Strong shot, 8-9 mm, uh, nine liner. It's not, it, for us it's too close to call, I think. I'm not yeah, sure yeah. what they... Uh, spotters have called it an 8, but the judge at the target could reverse that call. Well, or we'll could see. upgrade the arrow. Yeah. It looks like a 25-25. It's not grateful to judge this uh, arrow from here because it's exactly moving into the line. We, we cannot see the, the real outer diameter of the arrow. No, we can't. Or just the, the way it lies in the target and the uh, way the sun impacts it. You see the so judge is... Taking a very close look at it. Yeah. has his magnifying glass out so he can see the... And it, it makes a difference. I, and I often judge archery tournaments and to pull that magnifying glass out and look and... and when you do make a call and the archer sometimes looks at you sideways, 
and you give them the glass and they look at it and they go, okay, so she still can see, <laughs> even though she's getting a little old. Uh, it, 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 uh, it makes a difference that you can verify your actions to the athlete by offering them the glass to see the, see the arrow as you have called it. From a judging perspective, let's see if we can update you just a few more uh, places and a few more countries from the quota. Uh, the quota tracker Greece has earned one quota space for a recurve open woman. The Islamic Republic of Iran has earned a quota place for compound open men, and three quota places in the recurve open two men and one woman. The match is back underway, and John is starting out the second end. up and quick to draw still has half of this time left he lets go with 11 seconds that's a long time left on the clock he's efficient opens up with a nine I would put a star on this nine but as a, uh, it's very close again the same as we saw before the spotter has a much better view than we have nine nine Low eight. Still no wind to speak of. It's just uh, the faintest breath of a breeze that blows by and maybe cools the archers Stubbs off. Ten. Nice grouping for John Stubbs. Is. He's settled maybe into his, maybe that first, that arrow, that second arrow of the first end that was the six was just a little bit of Opening yeah. round jitters. No, no. John Snaps gave me 359 nine, eight, nine. Four. Jonathan Mill of Australia. Mill on target number Milne, two has Australia. 51 points. John Starbs of Great Britain on target number one has 53. He leads by two. Until confirmed, John Stubbs has a two-point lead, but uh, and, and, oh, the judge is out with his glass again, magnifying glass, checking out the low arrow that you uh, were not sure about, that first arrow. Yep. And they haven't heard anything yet, and don't see anything. No indication from the target judges. It seems to be a nine. The electronic scoreboard on the field has not changed, so we would, uh, in the, we would probably assume that uh, if there's no change, that the arrows are confirmed. Okay, it's confirmed. 53-51. Two-point lead for Jonathan Stubbs, and John Stubbs and Jonathan Milne will start out this third end. You can probably hear the music in the background. We play music at archery events on a regular basis. Bill, on target two to shoot first. Jonathan shooting first with this nine, starting in the third set. The answer from John Stubbs. Nine. Stubbs, nine. You know, the archers see this, uh, the arrow, mostly through the eyes of the coach that tells them nine at three o'clock, nine at nine o'clock, full nine, line and nine, whatever. But they see it also on the big screen, that's a good thing. We have a large screen this time here, 15 square meter screen on the field at these finals. So it's both an enhancement for the athletes and the spectators to get a different point of view. 
the archers are not permitted to bring scopes into them into the finals venues. That's what the Ooh. coaches are doing. Oh. Nice tight group there. You may have heard the arrow smack. Yeah, I would so check the nine. The arrow, oh. yeah, I would too, yes. Now, uh, the archer's agent that's down at the target has a responsibility to kind of do some of that uh, equipment maintenance at the target. Andreas Mida mentioned that he would check the knock on that arrow that was hit as the, as the third arrow hit the target. And you'll, uh, I've been in the, in the archer's agent's position, and you know, we always take a, a small pad of sticky notes with us. And there's tricks like uh, sending the arrows back with uh, an arrow in question turned the opposite direction. So you'll have two arrows that come in standing one way and a third arrow that's flipped the other direction or you have a, a sticky note posted to it. There's our there's a shot of our on-field on uh, video board. But uh, that's important communication to have uh, with the uh, equipment that, that's been shot coming back to the arch to let them know this is the arrow that keeps going high right. So this is the arrow that got smacked on the way in by another arrow. Scores have been confirmed. John Stubbs leads by three now. Yes, lead by three. We are over half. We have just two ends left. Uh, three points lead, two ends left. At that level, everything is so open, yes. Uh, we had high scores from Jonathan, who shot uh, 140, 144, 145, 140, 140, in the way to this uh, bronze medal match. John had two buys, and then he came into with a 142, 147, 144, and 145. So yeah. on the paper, John is the favorite. Yeah. I'm not sure if Jonathan and his coach are, are realizing that the majority of his arrows have been low. And, and maybe a little tweak on the yeah. And on the I think this is the out. disadvantage Jonathan has. He mm -hmm. has his mom with him. Mm -hmm. And she's not an experienced coach. So she can tell him some things. But finally, he, he may not react correctly because he doesn't get the advice Nine, from. Ten. That's a better shot. Ah, he is changing his sight now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some, getting some feedback from both the target, maybe, and his mom. Or his coach. We'll no. call her coach. We call her coach. It's just... There is a relationship there beyond the target and the competition field. It's not one we see very often in archery, but it, it can work. Maybe a nine star, the other one, but then second arrow, but Stop. well, ten. that's not a star, ten. that's nine a ten. I know, that is a ten. <laughs> Let's uh, keep updating you. We stopped with the Islamic Republic of Iran. We moved to the an, an adjacent country in the same region, uh, in Iraq, who has earned a quota place for one recurve open man. Italy, we've seen quite a number of Italian archers, both yesterday in the team round competition, team round medal matches, and today in the individual matches. Four compound open athletes, three men, which is the maximum that you can uh, earn here at the World Championships, one woman. Recurve open two places, one man, one woman. W1, one man to earn a quota spot for Italy. In Korea, compound open two quota places, one man, one woman. Recurve open four places, three men, one woman. W1, one so woman position. In Latvia, Latvia is a fairly new country. I think this might be one of their first of, uh, appearances in the Para World Championships. We had six new countries uh, come this year that had never before been to the Para World Championships. And uh, it's, it's possible Latvia may be one of those countries. The scores have been confirmed. We have fans online. We have a fan from John Stubbs. NATO 6451, go Big J. Jonathan Mill. By the way, it could be either John or Jonathan. 
Go Big J could be yes, both, could, could be, be cheering one, Jonathan true. Milne uh, to to try to catch up with John Stubbs. But I think Go Big J means uh, Go Milne, World nine, Champion. Nine, six point trailing by six. Still, that's an impressive target that John Stubbs has. You can see the arrow holes, and they're all scattered in the gold. That just that one. One that he doesn't understand. He no. didn't understand. He looked <laughs> back at the coach and said, "What? <laughs> I shot off socks." Bad shot. Bad shot. Jonathan was not happy with that and uh, shaking his head. Guess we have a bronze medal winner. You have always to wait until the last hour, but the fact is... 9 and 9. If I see what the scorecard tells us, uh, John Stubbs will at least get a medal at, le at these uh, World Championships here in beautiful Donaueschingen. Nice group from Jonathan Mill. Strong finish for him. And at 10 to conclude this bronze medal match for John Stubbs winning another medal at the World Championship. This time it's not the gold medal for him, it's the bronze medal. John Stubbs, high level. As always, he just was defeated in the semi final by the finalist Alberto Simonelli coming up next. Congratulations, Great Britain. Congratulations, John Stubbs. I think we'll see more to come from Jonathan now, like you said. And Nato, oh, 6451, it's for Milne, sorry, sorry, Big J is Jonathan Milne from Australia. Sorry for, <laughs> for him being only fourth, but it's his first appearance at the World Championship, and he did a great job. Jonathan Milne, for the future, a great archer. Thank you for having you here, Jonathan Mill, and congratulations, Jonathan St uh, John Stubbs, for this bronze medal.